loving Father that'll actually take us out of the ditch and put us back on the right path so that we can walk with God. Amen? Amen. Can the hand of God reach beyond prison's bars? We're commanded in Scripture to visit those that are in prison and to share the gospel with them. There's no more uh, fertile mission ground than the Orange County Jail. This is right in our backyard. Each year, nearly 55,000 people pass through booking at the Orange County Jail. In many cases, these men and women feel alone, lost, hopeless, and broken. Thanks to the efforts of the volunteers and staff of the Orange County Jail Ministry, in the last year alone, over 46,000 inmates were attending Bible studies. One of the best things that this ministry has is that you've got men, you've got a captive audience. And a lot of these men were raised up in the church, but left the church for whatever reason. So they got a basic foundation of Christ and things of God, but need to get back to the old foundation. And so we got a chance to preach and teach and minister and just be a support for inmates that have gone wrong, realizing that they need to get back on the right track. And we're here to be a support to help them to make that change. The jail seems like a real daunting place. A lot of people think of it as a place of trouble, a place that you don't really want to go. Uh, but once I, I got there, I, uh, I was just overwhelmed by the fact that so many tender hearts are broken there and they all seek, uh, they're all seeking really help and they all seek uh, a savior. And we're the people who <laughs> bring that savior to them. And to see that heart uh, change right before your very eyes is the most awesome, wonderful thing I have ever witnessed. For more than 30 years, our purpose has been to show inmates that Christ is the answer to their greatest needs and only He can change them. I've learned more about the Bible since I've been here, just about all my life. I've learned more about the Bible since I've been in this cell. And for me to be doing time, I would rather be doing time up in Boy. A lot of the guys before they came in here, we couldn't even tell you where Revelation was in the Bible, and now a lot of the guys are quoting scripture, including myself, and God has done a lot for a lot of men up here, and it lets you know that you're never alone. When you have Christ Jesus with you, he's always with you, and when the times get tough, he's there to carry you. From the teenage shoplifter to the hardened criminal on death row, Orange County Jail Ministry believes every person deserves the opportunity to hear the good news of the gospel. This ministry further provides biblical instruction and discipleship training. It is our intent that each inmate who avails himself to this ministry will return to society as an exemplary Christian and disciple for Jesus Christ. However, this vital ministry needs a few things to keep it going. I would like to see three basic things. Number one, I would like to see more volunteers. We have almost 4,000 inmates. And as I walk down the aisle, I see wall to wall inmates, souls, that need someone to minister to. And that we as chaplains, we're only a handful of, of chaplains. We can't do it all. We need more volunteers. Number two, we need more prayer support because the devil would love to knock us out the box. You know, if you hit the, smite the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. And he's been coming at us from all kind of ways, but we need prayer. And then number three, we need financial support for a chaplain. We don't make that much already, but then you get a chance to pay our bills and not have to be concerned and worry about where our next paycheck is going to come from. So those are the three basic things that we need here in the Orange County Jail. One of the things we need at the Orange County Jail is support. And what I mean by support is uh, a few more people being involved. Uh, the ministry that I'm involved with has united with the Orange County Jail ministry. Uh, in providing mentors, a big brother or a big sister to somebody that's gotten out of jail or is getting out of jail. And what we do is we basically will train them and give them an idea how to handle things, but it's just as Jesus would do, just to be there, to encourage them, to pray for them, not to support them financially or anything like that, but just basically help them in their journey from accepting Christ and starting a new life. We're grateful for the nearly 300 faithful volunteers, but we desperately need more. Volunteers teach, preach, provide music, conduct counseling sessions, 
deliver Bibles, and more. Volunteer support is important, and financial support is also urgently needed. Well, the Orange County Jail Ministry is entirely funded by private donations. Uh, our name says Orange County, but we don't receive any government funds. And all of our monies come from local churches and volunteers and people that are willing to just sow into this ministry. In order to maintain the freedom to preach and teach the gospel as they desire, the Orange County Jail Ministry cannot accept any state or federal funding. They need your help to provide Bibles, reading glasses, discipleship materials, follow-up efforts, and salaries for chaplains. We're excited to report that scattered throughout our community and around the country are many that have been affected by the Orange County Jail Ministry and have remained faithful to the Lord. Some are filling pulpits. Some are representing Christ in their workplace. Over the last 12 months, more than 4,500 inmates accepted Christ and 3,000 rededicated their lives to Him. Please consider being a part of this great mission field. I just want to thank the Lord for this program and just being a blessing to me in my life and everything He's done for me, and just bringing me to where I'm at today. And I ask Lord Jesus to just stay in my life. Everything I've learned to this point, continue teaching me. And um, I just want to praise the Lord for everyone that's been a blessing to me. This place has been a blessing on me. Uh, it's brought me closer to the Lord, uh, where I was straying away from, and I would like to say, you know, thanks to, to the chaplain and, and you people. Thank you for coming up and seeing us and, and spending time with us because y'all are a blessing and like this place is a blessing. All right, I want to thank God for allowing me to be in this situation to get closer to him and being up here in Fort A with these Christian brothers. You know, as I observe while I'm up here, um, God been moving some um, miraculous things in my life and allowed me to get real close with him. And I just can't wait when I get out there so I can be able to put it to work and you know what I'm saying, like, um, so I could be a, a living witness to other people out there so they can see from where I used to live, now I'm a changed man, a new man in Christ, old thing passed away, and I'm praying that, you know, God give me the strength and courage so I can be able to walk out there. And I'm just waiting on that day. On behalf of the board, all our chaplains and our volunteers, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sowing into this 1,000-fold ministry. Can the hand of God reach beyond prison's bars? It can, when His hand is an extension of yours. As believers, we know that there's no greater power than the power of prayer. So please continue to pray for this ministry. And if you would like to make a financial contribution, make your checks payable to Orange County Jail Ministry, P.O. Box 568521, Orlando, Florida 32856. If you have any questions or would like to volunteer, contact us at 407 836 3330 extension 3320. Please join us as we introduce the freedom of Christ to those in prison. Only eternity will reveal all that God has accomplished through the Orange County Jail Ministry.